Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take a problem that deals with evaluating an expression. Here we are given x as 3 plus radical 2 and we are given an expression to evaluate. The expression that we have is kind of interesting. We have x to the power of 5 in the denominator. However, for the denominator, we have two terms. We have x to the power of 4 plus 49 times x to the power of 6 plus 343. Let's see how we are going to solve this. Obviously, we are not going to use x and then take power of 4 of it and so on and so forth. However, we are going to take properties of the expression and x itself to solve this problem. To do this, I'm going to rewrite the expression that I have. I have x to the power of 4 plus 49 over x to the power of 5. And then on the other hand, I have x to the power of 6 plus 343. Now let's take a look at this and see what we have. We have x to the power of 4 here and we have x to the power of 6 here and we have x to the power of 5 here. If you take a close look, you can see that x to the power of 4 is basically x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 and then x to the power of 6 is x to the power of 3 to the power of 2. And on the other hand, 5 can be written as 2 plus so the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as x to the power of 4 plus 49 over x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 6 plus 343 over x to the power of 3. Now based on what we have here, you can see that x to the power of 4 plus 49 over x to the power of 2 can be written in a better way. I'm going to write it as x to the power of 2 plus 49 over x to the power of 2. And then I'm going to use the same approach this time for the second term and write it as x to the power of 3 plus 343 over x to the power of 3. Now let's see what we have here. We have x to the power of 2 plus 49 over x to the power of 2. Obviously you can say that this is simply x plus 7 over x to the power of 2 minus 14. The reason that it's minus 14 is kind of obvious, but let's rewrite it. Remember a plus b to the power of 2 is a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 plus 2 times ab. Now here a and b are inverse of each other. So 2 times ab is going to be 2 times 7 or 14. So I'm going to evaluate this instead of what I have here. I have x plus 7 over x to the power of 2 minus 14. Now I'm going to start with using what I'm given for x. Let's use it and see how we are going to move forward. So remember x is given as 3 plus radical 2. So I'm going to keep it here and then write x is equal to 3 plus radical 2. And then I'm going to say that x minus 3 is radical 2. So x minus 3 to the power of 2 is 2. And then I can say that x to the power of 2 plus 9 
minus 6x is 2, which basically means that x to the power of 2 plus 7 is 6x. So if I divide two sides by x, then I will have x plus 7 over x is 6. Remember, x is not going to be 0. Obviously, that's easy to see here. So I have x plus 7 over x equals to 6. And now take a look at what we need to have. Obviously, I am going to use x plus 7 over x as 6. And then the whole expression here is going to be 6 to the power of 2 minus 14, which can be written as 36 minus 14 or 22. So I found the first term and now I need to focus on the second term. The first term is 22. Now let's focus on the second term. For the second term, remember we are going to find x to the power of 3 plus 343 over x to the power of 3. Now, one thing that we need to note that I'm going to write this as x plus 7 over x times x to the power of 2 minus 7 plus 49 over x to the power of 2. Now, the right question is how I'm going to get this. First of all, note that 343 is 7 to the power of 3. Now, based on this, you can say that what I have here is simply x to the power of 3 plus 7 over x to the power of 3. So I can say that this is basically a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 if this is a and this is b. And a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 can be written as a plus b times a to the power of 2 minus ab plus b to the power of 2. Now, instead of having negative ab, I wrote negative 7. For a and b, I wrote x to the power of 2 and 49 over x to the power of 2. Now, remember what we found for x plus 7 over x. We found 6. And then remember we found x to the power of 2 plus 49 over x to the power of 2 is 22. So this section is going to be 6 times 22 minus 7 or 90. Now I have 90 for the second term and I have 22 for the first term. So the whole expression that I have is going to be 22 times 90. This is the expression or 1980 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more math puzzles and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, Please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel and I hope to see you in the next video.